So I was writing this script uh, about this photographer who's trying to photograph dead people. And so she goes to all these mortuaries at the beginning, and no one will let her photograph the dead. So I'd never been in a mortuary, and I felt like I should, I should go to a mortuary to see what it's like to be inside a mortuary. And I, I go to all these mortuaries, and they won't let me in. And I say, can I just look around? I just want to, I want to see a corpse. Can I see a corpse? And they were like, no, you can't see a corpse. And I was really frustrated. I'm thinking, how am I going to see a corpse? I've never seen a corpse. I want to see a corpse. And I want to know what it's like to see a corpse. And as I'm driving home from the mortuary, <laughs> thinking this, I get a call from my friend Keiko. And she says, my mom just died. And we're having a uh, corpse viewing in two hours, in case you want to come. It's at this address at, it was like Forest Lawn Cemetery or something. And I was like, oh my God, this is a sign from God. I mean, this is obviously God is sending me a corpse. And Keiko's mom, well, I had made a film with Keiko and her mom, and her mom really liked me. And... um it was weird that she invited me to see her mom's corpse. I mean, it was just her family and me. I, it was weird. I hadn't told her anything about this. I didn't tell her I was looking for a corpse. If you, if you come across a corpse, give me a call. Uh, or call me when your mom dies. Uh, you know, she just called me out of the blue. And I'm so, I'm so happy and I'm so excited. I'm going to see a corpse, my first corpse. And I'm driving to the address she gave me. And she said, you know, it closes at 6. And I, I had enough time to get there, but just barely. And I can't find it. I can't find the address. I'm driving around and it's getting closer to six. And it's like five to six. And I'm like, where is this place? And I'm freaking out that I'm going to miss the corpse opportunity that I was so sure God had sent me to have. And it's six o'clock and I still haven't found the fucking mortuary. And I'm screaming in rage. And I'm hitting my steering wheel over and over again. And I'm just so mad at God for taunting me like this. And then finally, I find the mortuary. She gave me the wrong address. And it's about 6.15, and I run in there, and she's coming out with her family. They're all in black. <laughs> Everyone's tear-stained. And she says, they kicked us out, but she's upstairs in the second floor in the so-and-so room if you want to go see her real quick. So I leap up the stairs. I go into this room, and it's just her mom is dead on this table, and me. And there's no one in the mortuary. It's just me in the mortuary with her mom. And I'm like, this is exactly what I needed, just some time alone with a corpse. And I loved her mom. She was a really sweet person. And I could feel her energy in the room. And I'm like, okay, it's a real thing. Like, the spirit leaves the body and, and is right here. And I touched her forehead, I kissed her forehead, and I talked to her for an hour. I told her how much I loved her. I told her how much Keiko loved her. I told her how much her and Keiko's relationship meant to me. And after an hour, I felt like, okay, I, I, have, I understand the experience of, of a corpse. And I left the mortuary, but I never... I never finished the script.